Now, if you're having problems with your Epson projector here, it's not displaying your computer screen. Well, there are a few things here that you may want to do. So, first thing that you want to do here is you want to check your HDMI cable and ports. Now, start with the simplest step here. So, reset the HDMI cable at both ends. Now, if it's still blank, swap it for a different, shorter, and good quality cable. Also, test another HDMI port if available. And also, confirm the projector input here. Go into the projector menu and make sure the input is set to HDMI or the ports you're using. Now, you can also use source search to let the projector auto detect the right input. Now, configure your computer's uh, display output as well. So, your computer might not be sending the signal. So, on your Windows, press Win and P, then choose Duplicate or Extend. Now, on Mac here, go ahead and go to Display, hold Option, and click Detect Displays, enable Mirror Display if needed. And also, you may want to watch the uh, match the resolution and refresh rate here. Now, if the projector still doesn't display, adjust your computer to a resolution it supports. Now, typically, it's going to be around uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 at 60 hertz. Now, to confirm it's not the projector, plug in another HDMI device like a DVD player, console, or a different laptop. If that works, the issue is with your original computer or adapter. Now, if you're using a USB-C, DisplayPort, or mini DP adapters, try a certified active adapter or a direct HDMI to HDMI connection so some cheap adapters don't transmit uh, signals properly sometimes. Also, you may want to power cycle and update the software. Now, turn off and unplug both device for about a minute here, then restart. Also, update the projector firmware and your computer's graphic drivers. Outdated software often causes HDMI and handshake failures. Now, also look for an for a HD, HDCP or CEC issue or do a factory reset. Now, if copyright content won't display, it won't be HDCP protection or it it could be HDBC protect, uh, protection. Now, test with another device, uh, videos or inputs. As a last step, do a factory reset on the projector to clear misconfiguration. And that's about it. So, Hopefully this video is able to help you. I can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.